Hi, this is a quick video tutorial on how to add APIs to Meshape. Meshape is an API marketplace where you can consume, distribute, and monetize private and public APIs. The first step is to make sure you have an account with Meshape. You can do that by clicking on the green tab on the upper right hand side which says join us. From here, you can create a standalone Meshape account or use your existing GitHub account to sign up. If you already have a login with Meshape, click on the blue tab which says login and key in your login credentials or use your GitHub login. Once you're logged in, you'll be taken to your Meshape dashboard where you can create, explore, maintain, learn, and monitor APIs. For now, we're just interested in adding an API to Meshape, so let's click on Add an API. On this page, we will be asked to key in a name for an API and a base URL from which all our endpoints will branch off. In this example, we will use bit.ly shorten API. Once you fill in the information, click on Add API. This is the API profile page for the Bitly API which is added. As you can see, it's currently empty. Let's start to describe our API by clicking on Create Documentation. This takes us into editing mode so we can supply more information for our API. This is the documentation page where we can key in the necessary information to our APIs, such as the mode of authentication, endpoints for our API, and models that describe structured data that is passed to and returned by our APIs. Let's add an authentication method first. The authentication section provides us with several options to match the authentication required by our APIs. For our Bitly API, we will pass a query parameter called login to authenticate. Once you're done, click Save Documentation. Now let's go to the endpoint section to add a specific endpoint of our Bitly API that will shorten a long URL. Here we will provide a name, HTTP method, HTTP route, and parameters that we can pass to an endpoint if there are any. What we have done so far is to describe a bit.ly shortened endpoint and specify two parameters to successfully call this API endpoint. Before we go any further, let's test this by clicking the generate response. It appears that we have successfully received a response from our API endpoint. As you can see, we have received a JSON response that contains a shortened URL of the long URL we keyed in. A response model was also generated for us which contains some of the fields for the JSON response. 
You might also notice that a window popped up earlier for us to key in our authentication information. It is advisable to put all our authentication related information into the authentication section. So let's move our API key parameter to that section instead. Now let's test that endpoint again. Now we are asked to provide our login and our API key. And we're going to get the same response. After saving my progress on the documentation tab, I proceeded to fill in the rest of the information in the settings tab, such as the website, the logo, the description, and the category for my API. This information will help my API be more searchable to developers. The last step that we need to do now is to set our API to public. Currently, it is set to private. That means no developer can search it in the public marketplace. Let's click on this toggle to set our API to public. And there we go. Our API is now searchable in the marketplace. Congratulations! Adding an API is just one of many things you can do in Meshape. We encourage you to explore the other features of Meshape and join us on Twitter, Facebook, or email us in support at meshape.com to let us know what you think.